So the, the flag that is in the middle of each one of these groups, of these five, oh, thank you, that flag is the personality after whom the group of five is named. And the group of five is called Pancha. So one group is the group of, first of all, Sri Krishna. Because Sri Krishna is Bhagavan, the absolute truth. Uh, the Supreme Personality of God and the cause of all causes. So his four expansions are the original source of all existence. So one group is Sri Krishna himself with his four Chaturvyuha expansions of Praduna, Aniruddha, Vasudev, and Sankarsha. Then we have as I said, Sanak, Sanandana, Sanantana, and Sanat Kumar. And Sanat Kumar is in the center of this one. And Vishwaksena is included in that group. Then, as I told, we have Sri Shukadeva Goswami, the speaker of Srimad Bhagavatam, in the middle of one group. And the four Vaishnavacharya, Sri Ramanujacharya, Madhvacharya, Vishnu Swami, and Nimbaditya. Then we have the group of gurus, with, which is including our own Gurudev, Sri Guru, then his Gurudev, his Param Gurudev, then that Param Gurudev's Guru is called Parameshti Guru, then his Guru is called Parakpara Guru. And then we have Brahma Vidya Sampradaya Kartagana. Kartagana. What is that one? Brahma Vidya Sampradaya Kartagana. Who brought down the Brahma Vidya in this world? Oh, the original guru who brought. Yes, so that means in our Sampradaya Sri Brahmaji. So now the next group is called the group of Vedavyas. So Veda Vyas, Dev, who has written all the Vedic literatures. Now there are four prominent Acharyas who are also included in that group. Great Rishis, great sages like Veda Vyas. And they are Paila Rishi, Va Vaishampayana Rishi, Jaimini Rishi, and Sumantu Rishi. Now the fourth group is the group of the Panchatattva, that is the personality of Godhead Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who appeared in this world 500 years ago. And he appeared with his own personal expansions and incarnations and his own personal energies in the form of five divine personalities called Panchatattva. That is Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Supreme Lord himself, his immediate personal expansion, Sri Nityananda Prabhu, and his avatar, Sri Advaita Acharya, who is an avatar of Sri Mahavishnu, and Sri Nityananda Prabhu is an avatar of Sri Balaramji, the first expansion of the Lord. Then Sri Gadadhar Pandit Prabhu, who is the manifestation of the Shakti potency of the Lord in the form of Srimati Radhika. She has appeared as Sri Gadadhar Pandit. And then we have the Srivas Thakur, the manifestation of the highest perfect Vaishnava, Sri Narada Muni. So all these five personalities appeared in Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, association. And they performed this Harinam Sankirtan movement one, with him. So one group is not listed. Yeah, no, so that's what I was about to ask. Yeah, what is that group? So the seventh group, there are seven total groups. Uh, okay. So this this seventh group here is the manifestation of Sri Krishna and his own personal divine energy. So Sri Krishna is in the center. Then we have Sri Radha in one corner, who is his Swarup Shakti potency. 
And in the opposite corner we have Sri Gadadhar Pandit, who is the manifestation of Sri Radha. Then on the side of Krishna, we have Sri Krishna appearing as Sri Gauranga, who is the combined form of Radha and Krishna. And then we have in the far corner Sri Guru, who is the manifestation of the mercy form of Radha and Krishna within this world. So these are the seven groups of five. And this worship is being performed, calling all of these divine personalities to come and descend here at this auspicious occasion where we will worship uh, our own Gurudev, who is the representative within this world of all these divine personalities. So within a few minutes, Srila Gurudev will be arriving. So we're going to perform kirtan until he comes. So every those who play Radanga, please take the Radangas. We need the Radanga players to now take the Radangas so that when Gurudev arrives, we have, every, we have the kirtan going on properly. Everyone who has kartals and who is a good kartal player, please bring your kartals now. The gongs and the large kartals will begin kirtan. One it can stop. Those who are chanting Hare name, those who are belief in Supreme Lord Krishna, worshipping him, Hari and Hari Pratha, are chanting. They are happy and they will be more happy. One day they will be liberated and they must go to Kurok Vrindavan and serve Radha Especially in this line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Guru Goswami. First there was bhakti, no bhakti rush. Madhvacha Jaramanu we did archan to them all or Guru Parampara from Vyas to all himself Krishna and Mahaprabhu Gaur Nityanand, everyone. So, we knew all these things from Vyas. If Vyas was not appeared in this world, no chance of liberating and having Krishna praying. My Gurudev introduced this Vyas Puja. Sapta Acharya Puja. Pancha 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 And then two more added Upasya Pancha and Pancha Tattva. It was this work covered by Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddha Saraswati from Advait Bhati any place and he introduced and Guru Maharaj used to do that. So on my birthday also I have done to all. The duty of Guru is not to take pranam and dakshina from his devotees, disciples. But on his day, birthday, he will worship Guru Dev, Guru Parampara, Vyas Dev, Radha Krishna and others, his duties. We see in Chaitanya Chaitamre there was Das Puja day. All devotees gathered in Sivas Angar. Mahaprabhu has told previously that you should do Das Puja in Sivas When 
doing all kirtan and doing dyas puja at that time sivas pandita asked nityananda prabhu that you should give garland in the neck of dyas day and he went and hmm hmm for some time half an hour he was doing like so after that when chaitanya mahaprabhu came at once he took the garland and gave in the neck of chaitanya mahaprabhu of chaitanya mahaprabhu who is chaitanya mahaprabhu krishna himself he has taken the beauty and he instilled the mood of radhika or combined radha and krishna so mahaprabhu mercy is more valuable than krishna you know that in krishna there is something aparad ka vichar hai बट चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने नित्यानंद चैतन्य महाप्रभु हा गोपचंद्र हा नित्यानंदस्वी कम योर ऑल अपराध सो नित्यानंद प्रभु डेट एंड देन बाय वस्पिंग Radha Krishna or Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu worship of all our Guru Parampara of our best day. Everything is completed by that. Now today I hear that there is Sun Eucalyptus at four. So we must very soon go and take prasadam. otherwise you cannot take at the time of eucalyptus we should not take any grain any water nothing no stool passing urine passing even nothing and after eucalyptus you should take bath where in ocean very good in ganges in any well in a sacred place sacred pond you can take here is available ocean so you can take bath or any where you like so one thing i want to tell you in the last conclusion what is guru puja only getting some flowers in the lord's feet of the gurudev be sampan guru seva give yourself fully surrender now you are no manas deha deha jo kichu mor ar bin utma pade nand kisho o nand kisho what i have my children my mother father wife husband anyone and giving in your lotus feet now i am not am your dog what revenant you will be and now the disciple is not his totally to guru de he should not disobey whatever he should do to please guru de how guru de please you have to know rup go sami please mahaprabhu chaitanya mano bhishta sthapita nijin bhutale swayam rupa pada mahiram dadat sapata He preached the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by writing so many books, Ujjwal Din, Nani Bhakti, Samne Sindhu, Vedak Madhav, Nadik Madhav, so many books. So Rup Goswami is also Vyas, and Mahaprabhu is father of Vyas. 
So today is Guru Puja. You should try to give up your whole heart and be zero. Everything of Guru Dev. Chant, remember and please. Go Pramanande Mahamantra. And go at once and take prasad. And after you clip this, you can take bath.
Time is it? Then?
चंद्राय राधिकाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय सदभक्ताय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम शैवोत्तम देवी स्वस्ति व्यास तथो जय Shri Srimad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, 
and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shiksha Gurudev. Om Vishnu Pai, Astodra Satasri Srimad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to glorify Vyas Tattva and Sri Guru Tattva. Vyas means diameter. Diameter is that line that goes from circumference to circumference of a circle and it goes past the center. How many diameters are there that touches a circumference? Unlimited. And then it goes to that one center and goes to the other side. So Shri is an incarnation of Swayam Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself, who, who is part of a part of a part of a part of a part, breathes in and out innumerable universes. In order to show compassion to the fallen souls of this material world, that same Swayam Bhagavan Sri Krishna manifested as Srila Vyasadev. The center of that circle is Radha and Krishna, the Supreme Absolute Truth. Srila Vyasadev glorifies Sri Sri Radha and Krishna, their associates, their incarnations, their manifestations of energy, and spreads that glory throughout all the universes. Sri Guru is a manifestation of Srila Vyasadev. As Srila Gurudev said this morning, the whole world, the whole universe, is indebted to Vyasadev because without him, we would have no transcendental knowledge. So Guru, being a manifestation of Srila Vyasadev, is a manifestation of Sri Krishna himself. It's stated in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Guru Krishna Rupahan Shastra Pramane, Guru Rupe Krishna Kripa, Karena Bhakta Gane. That is, the Diksha Guru is a manifestation of the very form of Sri Krishna. Krishna himself takes the form of Guru in order to deliver his aspiring devotee. The Shiksha Guru is a manifestation of Krishna's own personality. Shiksha Guru K. Tojani, Krishnera Swarup, Antarjami Bhakta Shrestha, A. Dui Rup. The Shiksha Guru is a manifestation of Krishna's personality. Krishna has assumed two forms in this world, Antarjami, the super soul, who is situated in the heart of all living beings as witness and bestower of the results of all of our activities, who wants to guide the living entity just like two birds in a tree. One bird is the fruit-seeking bird on the tree of this body who is always struggling in great uh, frustration and anguish and greed to enjoy the fruits of this body. And the other bird sitting on the tree is the super soul, Krishna in the heart, waiting for his friend to turn to him so that he can be happy. So Sri Guru is a manifestation, external manifestation of super soul. Antarjami Bhakta Shrestha Eidui Ru. These are the two manifestations of Sri Krishna in this world to guide the fallen souls. So because of that, he's worshipped as good as God. Shakshat Haritvena Samastha Shastri Uktus Tatava Vyate Evasadvi. The spiritual master has the qualities of God. He's worshipped as good as God 
And at the same time, he's an associate of the Lord. He's a manifestation and an associate. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami says that by tattva, one can see Sri Guru as a manifestation of none other than Sri Baladev Nityananda Prabhu, the source of all strength for the devotee, for all of the Lord's associates, and the source of all incarnations. By Ras, he, in the form of a manjari, is the associate, very intimate associate, of Srimati Radhika, whom Radhika considers as non-different from her own body and her own heart. It's stated in the prayers of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami that even where the Param praised the Sakis hesitate to go in the service the intimate pastimes of Radha and Krishna, the maid servants who have appeared as our Rupanuga Guru Varga have no hesitation to go because Radharani considers them her own body. So, there are many um, instances of how, by surrendering to Guru, not as Srila Gurudev said, by simply offering a flower, but the flower represents the flower of our heart. So there are so many histories in Shastra which shows that by surrendering to Guru, Krishna is pleased, and Guru, who is a manifestation of Krishna, gives all benediction upon that disciple. One instance that Gurudev shares is the history of Upamanyu. He was taking care of his Gurudev's cows and every day he would go cow grazing. So after some days, his Gurudev told him, after some months, he had requested his Guru, please give me Brahma Gyan, Atma Gyan, knowledge of the self. Oh, I'll give that to you after 25 years. Just graze my cows, okay, without any complaint, doing the menial service of grazing cows. So after a few months, his Gurudev said, I see that you're very strong and fatty. What are you eating? Well, after the cows feed their calves, there's some remnants left and I take that. Did I order you to do that? I have not given you permission to do that. These are my cows. Don't take that milk. But he didn't tell him what to take. So Upamanyu stopped taking the milk, and after some days his Gurudev said, I see you still look very strong, what are you doing? So Upamanyu said, I'm just taking the foam from the cows who are chewing their cud. Have I ordered you to do that? Those are my cows. Stop that. But he didn't tell him what to take. So after a few more days, Upamanyu did not return. So his Gurudev went out looking for him. Upamanyu, where are you? Where are you? So in a very weak voice, here Gurudev, I've fallen in a well. So we found him, what are you doing in that well? Well Gurudev, you told me not to take the milk or the foam, so I was so hungry that I took the milk of a leaf that turned out to be poison, I became blind. So Gurudev actually was so pleased with him, and actually he was never displeased, but just to test him, he gave him those interesting instructions. So now he was so pleased that he blessed him with all Atma Gyan, all Brahma Gyan, and all the Vedic literatures, and all realizations that I am not this body but that I am soul, part and parcel of Brahma, became manifest in his heart. Same thing with Aruni. Aruni was the disciple of Domya Rishi. And Domya Rishi, one very stormy, freezing night, told him, we need to have a dam for our paddy fields, otherwise everything will be destroyed. Go out and build the dam and make sure it doesn't break. So without asking his Gurudev, Gurudev, I need an umbrella, can you at least give me a blanket? It's so cold tonight. Without any hesitation, he went out and tried to build a dam with the earth, but it kept breaking because of the storm. So finally he himself lied down and became the dam. The next morning, his Gurudev went out looking for him. Aruni, where are you? He couldn't even answer because he was practically dead. But in a weak voice he said, here I am. So his Gurudev, who did that order just to test him, brought him back to consciousness, said stand up, and also blessed him with all Vedic knowledge. 
Yasha Devi Para Bhaktir, Yata Devi Para Tatabro, Kasyaite Katita Yarta, Prakashante Mahatmana. One who has complete faith in the Supreme Lord and the same faith, not less, even more, in Sri Guru. To him, all the Vedic literatures, all the imports of the Vedic literatures become revealed. Similarly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was asked by Prakashananda Saraswati, Why do you engage in this sentimentalism? You don't study the Vedas. You're just chanting Hare Krishna. You're rolling on the ground like a complete madman. Why is that? So he said, my Gurudev told me I was a fool. Nowadays, if Gurudev says you're a fool, what is this bogus guru? He doesn't realize who I am. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, my Gurudev found me a fool. He said, don't touch me, Danta. Just chant Hare Krishna. So he gave me the Hare Krishna mantra and the Gopal mantra. And what happened? I went to him and said, oh Gurudev, what is this mantra you've given me? That mantra turned into a young boy with a peacock feather on his hand with a complexion just like a cloud. I tried to go after him to embrace him, but he walked backwards, and then finally when I ran to him, he disappeared and I found myself rolling on the ground, calling out and weeping, Krishna, where are you, where are you? So there's so many beautiful instances, and I can't leave out one in more modern times of our Param Gurde, Nityalila Pravishta Om, Sri Srimad Bhakti Pragyan Keshu Goswami Maharaj. In Navadweep, all the devotees with Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Prabhupada, our also Param Guru, they were chanting in Navadweep, and all of a sudden, the caste Brahmanas, envious that Prabhupada was making all kinds of people into Brahmanas, started throwing soda bottles and rocks. So everybody scattered, all the disciples scattered. But Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj immediately took his Gurudev into the house of a householder and forcibly changed clothes with him, sent him to Mayapur to safety, took his sannyas garments and came out and risked his life. Somehow or other he was able to get the police and appease the crowd. So we can see that because the spiritual master is the representative manifestation of Yastev, manifestation of Nanda Kishore, as Srila Gurudev said this morning, I offer my father, myself, my body, my family, my home, everything to you, O Nanda Kishore. So this also applies to Sri Guru because he's the representative of the lotus feet of Sri Nanda Kishore and even more so is leaning towards Srimati Radhika. So Gurudev said that one should not even touch the shadow of a wretched person who does not have faith in Sri Guru, who is criticizing or refuses to glorify Sri Guru. Just as if one has to go to the bathroom and he has stool inside his body, it's very, very uncomfortable. He can't do bhakti or anything. But once he passes it, then he feels free. So if we free ourselves from all bad association, have the good association of devotees who are dedicated to Sri Guru, and surrender our everything to him, then he gives us all bhakti, braj bhakti, and the service of Srimati Radhika. Gaur Premanandhi. Time is 10 to 15 minutes only because there are so many speakers. Now, Padmananda and me speak. <coughs> Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnanam Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Mukam Kuroti Vacha Lam Pangam Lam Gayate Gira Yad Kripa Tamaham Bande Shri Guru Dinakara Namaha Shri Guru Jnana Dadina Bandho 
Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur has expressed this principle, this Guru Tattva principle, that Sakshad Haritrena, that Sri Guru is actually a manifestation of Hari, of the Supreme Lord Hari. Hmm? And this is supported by all the Vedic literatures. It is declaring this truth that God manifests Himself in this world as Sri Guru. He is a Prakash, a manifestation of the Supreme Lord. But to understand perfectly and clearly, Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur points out that Sri Guru has another aspect. And what is that? Kintu Prabhuya Priya Eva Tasya. Although he is a manifestation of the Supreme Lord, uh, he does not consider himself such. He never tells that I am God or I am a manifestation of God. No. Uh, because he is the most intimate, beloved servant of the Supreme Lord. And therefore, he is known as the Supreme Personality of Servitor Godhead. So the principle of service is taught by Guru. The original Guru of all Gurus is the first expansion of Bhagavan Sri Krishna in the transcendental spiritual world known as Sri Baladev Prabhu. And Sri Baladev Prabhu is called Akanda Guru Tattva, the undivided principle of Guru. So Sri Baladev Prabhu manifests the whole uh, spiritual world and material worlds by dint of his own personal expansions and incarnations. And Sri Baladev Prabhu also manifests as the Paramatma within the heart of every living being. And that Paramatma who is giving direction to each conditioned soul, but the conditioned soul is not able to hear the instructions of Paramatma, then that same principle of Guru manifests externally as Mahant Swarup, as a uh, exalted devotee, a pure devotee. And he comes into this world and he teaches the instructions that the Supreme Lord Himself has given in all the Vedic literatures. So those transcendental instructions given in the Vedas are very, very vast. They cover so many truths. Uh, and in our disciplic succession, coming down from Bhagavan Sri Krishna to Lord Brahma, and coming down to Srila Vyasadeva, coming down to Sri Madhva Charja, and coming down in an unbroken line of disciplic succession, all the most confidential truths of all Vedic knowledge are given, uh, especially in the Srimad Bhagavatam, which we are so fortunately hearing from our Sri Guru Dev. So, this disciplic succession that we are coming in is very, very special because there are four Vaishnava Sampradayas in which this divine truth comes down into the material world. These four Vaishnava Sampradayas coming from Sri Madhvacharya, uh, Sri Ramanujacharya, Sri Vishnu Swami, and Sri Nimbaditya. They are giving this knowledge of the Vedas and they are engaging all the conditioned souls in the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And they are teaching the process of regulated devotion called Vaidhi Bhakti, by which the conditioned souls can begin to engage themselves in eternal in practices of pure devotion. But Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Although he himself appeared here 5,000 years ago in this world and exhibited his eternal pastimes in Sri Vrindavan Tam, and all those pastimes are given in the Srimad Bhagavatam. So he demonstrated his eternal spiritual leelas and pastimes from the spiritual world and he brought his eternal associates into this world and he sported freely and showed his rasa-filled pastimes to attract the hearts of all the souls of this world. And then he wound up his pastimes and he uh, continued on in his 
uh, journeys through the material universes exhibiting his pastimes. But Sri Krishna, at that time, he did not freely distribute this highest praying, which is known only in Braja Vrindavan to his eternal associates, the Rijbasis, his eternal personal associates and family members. Um, so that highest truth, which is given in Srimad Bhagavatam, was somewhat concealed. Therefore, Sri Krishna Chandra himself came down into this world, in this Kali Yuga, and combined with his internal potency, Srimati Radharani, he manifested himself as Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Rupa Goswami has given the identity of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in one verse that he composed to glorify him. There he told, that Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is descending into this world uh, after a very, very long time period. He has given, he has come to give in Kali Yuga that which has not been given previously. And he has come to give Unna to Ujvala Raswa Bhakti Shriyam. To understand just this one line, what is it that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to give to all Jiva souls? He empowered Srila Rupa Goswami and his associates, Srila Sanatana Goswami and all the six Goswamis, his personal disciples, he empowered them to manifest uh, this mission in this material world. And as Srila Gurudev told, that unless someone understands what is the mission of this Rupa Nuga, Guru Varga, then he cannot truly understand the glories of Guru Tattva and really the highest glory of Vyas Puja. So Srila Rupa Goswami is glorified in our disciplic succession as having fulfilled the inner heart's desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And therefore Naratam Das Thakur has prayed, Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadama Yam Dadati Sva Padantikam. Here he is telling, and all of our acharyas in our disciplic succession are telling this about Rupa Goswami, that he is the one, he is the personality who has fulfilled the manobhishta, the inner heart's desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by establishing within this material world what he wanted to give to all the jiva souls. And that he gave in all of his divine literatures, such as Sri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Sri Ujvala Nilamani, Lalita Madhava, Vidagda Madhava, and so many other literatures. So, in our disciplic succession, all of our acharyas are called Rupa Nuga because they are actually truly following internally all the internal moods that Srila Rupa Goswami has manifested and his divine identity as the eternal maidservant of Srimati Radhika in the form of Sri Rupa Manjari and also they are following him externally as he exhibited his Sadam Bhajan in this world as Sri Rupa Goswami living in Braja Vrindavan Tam Samkhya Purvaka Nama Gana Natibi Kala Vasani Krito Nidra Hara Vihara Kadi Vijito Chatyam Tadino Chayo Radha Krishna Gunas Mritera Maturi Manam Dena Sam Mohito Vande Rupa Sanatano Raguya Go Shri Jiva Go Palako So the six Goswamis headed by Rupa Goswami they all lived in Vrindavan Dham, demonstrating to the Jiva souls how they can do bhajan, how they can absorb themselves day and night in the eternal pastimes of Radha and Krishna. They manifested these eternal pastimes. Hai Gosai Jabi Brajai Koilovas Radha Krishna Nittalila Khorilo Prakash. And they went and manifested the eternal pastimes in Braj, writing their literatures discovering all the holy places of those pastimes and teaching the conditioned souls how they may attain the eternal service of Radha and Krishna and Raja Vrindavan Dhamma. 
So in our Rupa Nuga uh, disciplic succession, our acharyas are all bringing us there to Vrindavan. They are teaching us how ultimately we must live there. We must absorb ourselves 24 hours a day as Rupa Goswami taught in his Upadesha Amrita. Tamnava Rupa Chalitadi Sukirtananu Smritya Kramena Rasana Manasi Niyojya Tishtam Braje Tat Anuragi Jananu Gami Kalam Nayeda Kilam Iti Upadesha Sadam. The essence of all the instructions given in all the Shastras Rupa Goswami has given in this verse. How to live in Vrindavan Dham under the guidance of a Rasi Rupa Nuga Vaishnava who is himself following the eternal associates and their moods in the eternal Nitya Dham. So our beloved Gurudev, at this present time, in this history of the dissemination of the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu throughout this world, he is the personality who is establishing this mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Rupa Goswami in this world for all Vaishnavas present and future by giving these important literatures to the world. He is translating these literatures. He is giving authentic uh, commentaries on these literatures so that all the Gaudiya Vaishnavas may understand what is the message of Srila Rupa Goswami. How can we come in the line of Rupa Nuga Vaishnavism? So that contribution which our Guru Dev is giving is similar to what Sri Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur did 200 years ago. Uh, at that time, Gaudiya Vaishnavism was being challenged. And in Jaipur, the king of Jaipur also, uh, he was becoming influenced by other smart Brahmanas. They wanted to stop the worship of Srimati Radharani. Uh, and they were saying that the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, it is not authentic, uh, it is just some concoction. We don't accept it. So Srila Vishana Chakravarti Thakur at that time, he sent his disciple Baladeya Vidyabhushan Prabhu. And there he had debates with all the scholars and pundits and he wrote the commentary on Vedanta Sutra, Sri Govinda Pashya. And he defeated all of them. He established this uh, position of the worship of Radha Govinda. And in that way, under the guidance of Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur, he again maintained and preserved this mission, this disciple succession. And Srila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur himself, by his all of his commentaries and all the literatures that he has written, such as Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Bindu, such as Ujvala Nilamani Kira, and uh, Bhagavat, Bhagavatam, Brihad Bhagavatam Rita Kana. He has shown what all the teachings of the Goswamis were. And he manifested those teachings. And many, many other literatures, he commented his commentaries on the Srimad Bhagavatam. And he showed that the eternal pastimes of Radha and Krishna in Braja Vrindavan, exhibited in the mood of Parakya Bhav, is supported in Srimad Bhagavatam. And he preserved this knowledge of this uh, process of serving Radha and Krishna in their divine abode in the mood of separation as the Braja Gopis had manifested in Vrindavan. So our Guru Dev in the present day, he is performing a similar activity because in our Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, just as Krishna